Yo, have you noticed how everybody around you seem to think they could do better? I'm talking from jobs to relationships to life choices, or, or it seems like most people think they have the, the secret formula or the secret recipe to succeed. It seems like most people right now are living in a state of delusion, bro. It's three main things that I just keep noticing and realizing. I even catch myself sometimes with, with a couple of these things and I think we need to snap out of it. Like first, the, the main area I see is like relationships and dating as much as I despise this topic. Notice how a lot of people think they can do better than the person that they with. Like they can, they, they think they can get better than the person that they're with, or they think they deserve better than the person that they're with currently. And this is gonna sound crazy, but just hear me out though. You might see somebody who is in a relationship where they're dating somebody and they and they not like satisfied with the with the person's looks. They're not satisfied with the person that they're dating looks, right? They think they can get someone that looks better or they deserve somebody that look better or somebody that got a better personality or somebody that's making more money that, that they deserve somebody that can provide them with a better lifestyle. And they're actually like convinced that they deserve better than the person that they with currently. But what people are forgetting and what you should never forget is that relationships and dating is a two way street. So while you're looking at the person that you dating or you looking at the person that you with and you looking at them like, dang, I think I could do better than this. I think I could get a better chick than this, or I think I could get, you know what I'm saying, somebody that's making more money. You're at the exact same time being evaluated by that person too. They looking at you and they're evaluating you as well. You can't only be looking for someone to meet your standards and forgetting that they're looking at someone to meet their standard, or they're looking for someone to meet their standards too. It's like, this is the delusion that I'm seeing around with a lot of people, it's, it's like a one-way street. The standards, the requirements is a one-way street. I'm looking for the best, or I deserve the best, or I need the best. I need the coldest chick, the baddest chick. I need, or, 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 or in the reverse with women, they like, I need the guy that's making all this money that looks good and all these things. And they're not evaluating themselves or they're not thinking about how they're being evaluated at the exact same time. Where did this level of delusion come from? I know where it came from and I'm, I'm about to get into that next. But just, just remember this for this first topic when it comes to, to dating and relationships and where we stand in the level of delusion people is living in. You're not gonna attract somebody that's out of your league. That, is, that saying is deep on so many levels. You're not gonna attract somebody that's out of your league for one, because even though you're looking at them as someone that you would pursue, or you're looking at them as someone like, okay, this is somebody I can see myself with. If they're actually out of your league, you don't measure up to them. So when they evaluate you and they look back at you, it's like, they don't, they're not even seeing you. They're not even considering you as someone that they would date or take serious because they out of your league. So you're not gonna attract someone that's out of your league. We gotta, we gotta come back down to earth and stop living in delusion. The people that you're attracting, the women that you're attracting, so to all my bros out there, the women that you're attracting, the women that you keep getting, if you're wondering why you're only attracting a certain level of woman or a certain caliber of woman, and you're wondering why you're being overlooked by all the women that you want, is because they're evaluating you as well. So when they see you, they see you as somebody that's not on their level or somebody that, you know, not in their league. So you have to reevaluate yourself and see why are you being viewed as someone that's not in their league. Just because you see them as someone that you would date, that don't mean that they see you as someone they would date. And that lead me into, the, into my next point, man. One of the main reasons currently people living in delusion and everybody thinking they could do better is because of social media. Like we constantly bombarded with curated highlights of people's life. You know, that's all social media is, is highlight reels of other people's lives. People making it seem like they're more successful more talented, more fulfilled than, than the person that's viewing it or the average person. But if you just think about it, if you be real for two seconds, most people not posting their failures, bro. Nobody posting their failures. Nobody posting their struggles. Nobody posting their, their daily routines that may not seem too exciting. Them laying in the bed all day, you know, instead of getting up and grinding and working out and all these things, nobody posting posting the lowlights you only see the best parts of people's lives on social media typically and that creates unrealistic expectations 
and then it makes the, the viewers feel like they inadequate or they're not living up to what they're seeing online. But keep in mind, this is a highlight reel, bro. The social, the social media, the internet, it's not a real place, bro. People will present one way online. They'll present like they're the happiest person in the world. They'll present like they're the nicest people in the world. They'll present like they'll present like they're so they're these such kind, kind-hearted people. And in reality, they evil. Behind off social media, they evil in real life. They got a heart full of hate in real life, but they'll present online like they're super filled with love and joy and compassion. And then offline, they doing evil things behind closed doors or they'll present as super religious, super God fearing. And then offline, they live in a life of sin. Social media is unreal and it got people living in delusion. If you're watching these, if you're watching content and you're, and you're consuming content and you're believing that everybody's life is better than yours. No, man, this is why people are, is living in delusion now. Always remember this, man. Social media is a is a it's a distorted it's a distorted reflection of reality it's not real it's, it's a distorted view it's a skewed version of reality stop comparing your everyday behind the scenes life that people can't see stop comparing that to what you are seeing on the internet the people's lives that you're seeing on the internet because you're with yourself 24 7 you know what's going on in your life 24 7 and then you get on the internet and you only see the highlights of somebody's life you're seeing a, a 20 second 30 second clip of somebody's life you don't know what's going on offline when they're not on that phone when they're not posting you don't know where they at you don't know where they at financially you don't know where they at mentally physically people will show and present one way online and be completely different offline bro i've seen this and know people personally like that like i see how you posting and i know how you are in real life like you really not like this this is a front this is a facade and then lastly it's it's something that's called the Dunning-Kruger effect. This is the last thing. One of the, one of the main reasons why I think people are living in delusion. This is when people who are like incompetent in a particular area, they overestimate their own abilities and they own, and their own performance. Like they think they think they can do better because they don't know no better. Is that you know, they think they can do better because they don't know any better. Look up the Dunning-Kruger effect, bro. And this can be seen in, in all areas of life from business to personal relationships to, to sports to, you know, any area of life. Like you need you. You have to be willing to know your limitations. You have to be willing to know what you don't know or, or know when you don't know something It's OK to say I don't know something and seek help or seek understanding or seek clarity when you don't know something. Always be willing to learn from others that know more than you. Be willing to admit when you wrong. Like this is why so many people are living in delusion. People are overestimating their worth. They not they don't they don't understand where they actually lie in in the real world. So you overestimating your worth and people are seeing you in their lens. They're seeing you through their lens for what they feel you're actually worth. And you're wondering why you're getting treated a certain way or why you're getting viewed a certain way or why you're not getting the results that you think you deserve because you overestimate your worth and you're not willing to put in more or you're not willing to bring yourself up to the actual value that you think you are already at, but you're not there yet. Or you compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to other people that's on a higher level and you think you on that same level. Delusional. Once you start recognizing that you living in a state of delusion, that's the first step from breaking free from living in, in delusion. That's the first step. You gotta recognize like, I'm living in la la land. Come back down to reality. Get off social media and start living in reality. That's that's one of the main things that can hold you back from getting to where you're trying to go. This is something that I really had weighing weighing on my my brain heavy because I just keep seeing it, man. Like the delusion is real, and it seemed like the delusion is running crazier than ever in 2024 going forward. Like it's getting worse, man. I've always been one to, to live in reality and view things from a realistic approach and view things from a realistic standpoint or viewpoint. And when I see other people not living like that and I have a conversation with them and it's like, yo, I hear what you're saying and all, but that ain't realistic. That's not real life. They look at you like you tripping. And it's like, OK, well, you know, continue living in, in, in la la land. So, so, so many cats. 
that I've talked to, so many men that I've talked to that blame women for everything. They blame women for where they at. They blame women for why they can't get women or they blame women for why they can't get the type of woman that they want. Man, it ain't no women out here that's going to do blah, blah, blah. They, they put the blame on everybody else and they don't want to look in the mirror like, no, nah, man, it's you. You the reason why you can't get the type of woman that you're saying. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep blaming everybody else. You're living in delusion. You think that you this perfect dude and you deserve a certain type of woman, but you're not this perfect dude. This is why they're not rocking with you like that. This is why you're not getting the results you want. You got to stop living in delusion, man. As a, as a people. If this video helped you at all, man, please hit that subscribe button. Send it to somebody that you think might need to hear this, that you think might need to see this. Hit that subscribe button for me, hit that like button for me. And I got more videos on the way, man. Peace.